Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and today I'm going to answer the question, should you be working out when you are sick? So let's get started. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel, and I've been getting this question so frequently that I figured it was just about time I do a video on it. And the question is, should you work out when you're sick? The answer is, it depends. Now, there are two main categories that I would look into depending on what type of sick you are. And I wanna preface this video by saying I am not a medical doctor. Do not use my advice to supersede the medical advice of your doctor. However, this is my general advice experience with myself as well as thousands of clients that I've been working with over the years. So the first thing is you wanna look at when deciding whether or not you should work out when you are sick is what type of sick are you? And my general rule of thumb is to look at it this way, whether your sickness impacts you above the neck or below the neck. So anything above the neck is going to be related to sneezing, teary eyes, nasal congestion, maybe a headache, head colds, things of that nature. Now below the neck, we're talking about a cough, anything that is going to be a fever impacting the overall temperature of your body, aches in your body, pain, soreness, numbness, swelling, anything in your stomach, anything with digestion, anything below the neck, I would say don't work out, rest and take it easy. All right guys, now just to elaborate on this a little bit further in terms of should you work out when you are sick, if the symptoms that are plaguing you fall above the neck, yes, you can work out. These are the things that I say yes to. You can walk, you can jog, do yoga, swim, bike, tai chi, anything along those lines. The things I recommend avoiding when you are sick, I recommend avoiding power lifting, anything related to endurance training. When I say endurance, anything that is going to require 60, 70 minutes plus of sustained energy, hit cardio, I recommend avoiding hit sprints, any team sports, especially team sports, avoid those when you are sick, as well as anything extreme, anything that's gonna take you to extremes with your body. Now, the thing is, your immune system will be compromised if you are going significantly longer than like the 45 minutes to 60 minutes range with your working out. So again, above the neck, it's go, below the neck, not so much, but if you are going to work out, take it easy. You can walk, you can jog, you can do yoga, you can sweat it out. And sometimes it actually feels a little bit better to sweat it out when you are a little bit sick. So this is not saying don't work out at all. I still think you should, but use wisdom and above all, consult with your doctor regarding whether or not you should be training. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.